Uh, Tony, eaten by mistake. Stop, Tuscany. <laughs> 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 But, Maestro, who was the one that you loved the most? I mean, of the composer that you knew personally. Mm, Facile. He's not famous because he died young. But I've always adored Alfredo Catalani. I even named my daughter after his opera, La Valle. I was with him when he composed his piano piece, Insonio, Dreaming. Barely a week goes by without me playing this piece. It's a way of remembering that dear spirit. He used to say, I wrote it, but I can't make it sound as magical as you do. He was the most simpatico of the composers. Refined. He wasn't crude as the others. Puccini, Mascani, Giordano, or even Franchetti. He had beautiful eyes also. And the women used to fall in love with him. He would come to my house for me to play his operas, and he would lie across the armchair and fall fast to sleep. <laughs> what a character. <laughs> I played in Sonio for many friends, and for Puccini. I also played parts of La Valle, and he said, how can a man write so many beautiful melodies? He was jealous of Catalani. Puccini, jealous of Catalani. Just before he died, his skin went yellow. My mother always said, his eyes are always open as if he's looking into the distance. <laughs> <laughs>